All right, welcome to art class, ladies and gentlemen. So you can see that I have some of my leaves that we're gonna use to do our project on my paper. Okay, I'm actually just gonna move them because I didn't want it to just be a blank screen that you were looking at when you clicked on the video. So I wanna look at this leaf. So if I look really closely at this leaf, I can see there's veins in it. I can see there's a hole in it or several holes in it that were probably eaten by bugs. If I flip it over to the back, you can see that there are micro veins, all these little tiny veins that you see coursing through the leaf, okay? So when I go to draw these, I'm really gonna pay attention to the stem, to the different shapes it makes, not the whole leaf. Okay, I'm gonna do it step by step and I'm gonna start and draw as I see it. So I am using a very fine tip Sharpie. What I would like you to use is a pencil. I'm using Sharpie so that I know you can see it on this video. My setup right now isn't perfect, so that's why I wanna use a Sharpie so that you can see. So if I'm looking at this leaf, I'm not going to trace the leaf. I'm going to use the leaf as a guide or a study or a still life to draw my leaf. So if I start out by drawing the stem, okay, you can see that it curves a little bit, so I'm gonna draw the stem. Now, that does look like the stem, okay? Now at the bottom here, there's a little shape that I see it's thicker where it was attached to the tree, so I'm gonna draw that shape, okay? Now the only problem is when I go to add color to this, if I leave it just like this, this is a line. So if I leave it just the line, I'm gonna have nothing to add color to. So even though it's gonna be super, super skinny, I am going to add a shape. So now that I have, I have transformed that from being a line into a shape, okay? And we're gonna talk about line a lot because it is one of the elements of art and we are gonna be focusing on that for this project. So when I look at my leaf, I'm gonna look over here at the corner. I actually might bring it down here so I have a better view of it. So I'm gonna to start to draw my leaf. I'm trying to find the best place for it. Okay, I'm gonna to start to draw my leaf. So I see that it curves right here. So I'm gonna draw a curve then it kind of comes to a point so i'm going to make the point and i'm going to follow the curve that it makes okay inches out okay i'm spreading out the leaf so then it kind of comes back in again okay then it curves then it comes in again and comes back down okay so there's the start to my leaf that it would be this little pointed area okay now i'm going to go to the next section so I see there's a nice big deep point right there. So I'm gonna make sure I make sure I leave that there and I'm gonna go up and I see a point. And I'm gonna go up again and I see another little point. I'm gonna go up again and I see another point. Okay. And then it kind of comes in just a little bit. Okay. So there's the start to my leaf. Okay, so I did this edge and this little point here. Now this point is going to curve and go up and it kind of has a couple bumps in it. So I can do those and it comes to a perfect point and it comes down a little bit, has some bumps, curves, and comes in, goes down, curves, come in. Okay, so I've got it to about here. So now I wanna bring it down and make that nice deep curve that I see right there again. So now this one's gonna come straight up I'm gonna scooch the camera over a little bit. Straight up. Curves again. Curves again. And goes up. So I'm really close to the edge of my paper. I didn't realize when I started drawing how close to the edge I was. If you get close to the edge of your paper, I don't want you to squish your leaf in. So instead what I'm gonna do, instead of trying to continue up here, I'm gonna come back down to the bottom and continue drawing to the bottom. Because when you make a nice composition, composition includes the whole paper. So this means I can make this going off the paper and that might be really interesting to my viewer when they look at it. So I'm gonna start down here. So I'm gonna come do this point out, kind of curves in. Okay, and then it curves in like this. Then it comes back out. Oh, there's a hole in this leaf. So I wanted to make sure I include that because that's part of the nature of this leaf is that a little bug ate it as part of its snack or part of its dinner. Okay, so I'm gonna make those curves. 
Take your time, okay? Now I'm gonna come up. Here's some more curves. Okay. Now I'm really close to the edge of my paper, so I don't wanna go any further this way. But what I can do is I can make this V here so that you see that it's a different shape going up. So I'm gonna curve it up this way make those points so it looks like it's going up. So there I have the shape of my leaf. This got a little silly looking, but that's because there's a hole in this leaf right here. So that is perfectly okay. So now before I finish this leaf, what I wanna make sure I do is include those veins that are on my leaf. Now, when we make lines with intention, we are not going to just draw lines to make our, our veins. I want you to really look closely at your leaf and see that you have a big vein going up through the middle. There's a big vein, or we could call them an artery because we have arteries, a big artery vein going through each section of the leaf. So I'm gonna do that first. So I'm gonna make, and the veins connect to the bottom stem that we drew. So I'm going to draw that main artery and I'm gonna draw this main artery and they go all the way to the top of the point. And I'm gonna draw this main artery. My veins got maybe a little bit thicker than I would like them to be, but that's okay. That's just part of how I'm artistically making these leaves. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna do one more out to this center over here. All right, so I'm really looking at those veins in the real leaf to see that that's what my real leaf looks like. Okay, leaves are very organic shapes, so I don't expect your leaf to look exactly like this one because this is a real leaf and this is your drawing of a leaf. I don't expect your leaf drawings to look exactly like my leaf drawings because again, we are different artists, okay? So there's one leaf. So before I do my next leaf, I'm probably going to think about where I want to put it on my paper. So I'm going to hold you up a little bit so you can see my paper. I have a crazy setup going on right now. Okay. So I'm looking, where do I want to put my next leaf? I think I want to do my evergreen leaf or fern. Okay. So where would be a good place to put this? If I put it going the same direction as this leaf, it's not really gonna help my eye flow through the composition. So I think I'm gonna put it going this way up there, okay? So I'm gonna move it down here so I can see it, but so it's not in my way. So this one is really all lines, okay? So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna draw that stem that kind of runs through the middle of it as a little, remember your stem should not just be a line, but it should be a shape. I'm gonna draw that stem that runs all the way through it. Maybe it gets a little skinnier. Okay. All right, so there's my stem. So now each of my ferns kind of curves as they go. So they are each their own shape. So I'm going to draw each fern. The one thing I wanna make sure I notice is that they get smaller as we get to the top. Kind of like if you were drawing um, a Christmas tree, the ferns on the Christmas tree get smaller as you go to the top. So I'm gonna draw these shapes pretty even on both sides. Okay, and they kind of curve, okay? And as I'm drawing them, I wanna make sure I'm just getting shorter as I go up. So that one was a little bit longer, but that's okay. Okay, so I'm taking my time. They actually have veins running through them so I can put those inten lines with intention, not just drawing lines, but drawing intentional lines on them. So you really want to take your time and draw those veins the way they need to be drawn. Okay, draw each little stem the way you want it to be drawn. Okay, and 
then as I get to the top, I'm just going to make smaller ones. Okay, so there is my evergreen leaf. Okay, so I'm going to pause the video now. I know draw, watching me draw, I wish I could do demonstrations in class with you, but um, this kind of will give you a, a step in the right direction. One thing I did forget to do on this leaf, I'm going to bring him back, is all those little micro veins that we talked about. So getting those micro veins in there too. Looking at your leaf, looking at those micro veins, drilling them into, because that's really what's going to make it look like a real leaf is having all of those veins, those micro veins in there for us to see how the water would be carried through the vein. Okay, now those lines were not made with intention, so I'm gonna go back and fix them. If any of my lines get a little scribbly, I'm not gonna use them, I'm gonna go back and fix them, okay? When you're using your pencil, if any of your lines, you don't mean them to be there, I'm gonna ask that you go back and erase them so that all of our lines are lines with intention. Okay, we just don't wanna do scribbles. That's not what we're looking for. All right, guys, so I'm gonna stop the video there, okay? But this is just an introduction to help you figure out how to draw your leaves. I wish we were together where we could be gathered around a table and you could be watching me draw in real time, but unfortunately, that's not what we're doing right now, okay? So here's the start to my leaf project.